So does anyone remember when Bakari Sellers tweeted out, y'all almost had Cynthia Nixon. This is why experience matters. Because I certainly remember that hot take. Uh, does anyone remember the Cuomo sexual phenomenon? Or when liberal satirist Randy Rainbow made a song literally glorifying Andrew Cuomo, professing his love for Andrew Cuomo? I guess I'm saying I've given up trying to understand the way that liberals think. Um, <laughs> the reason why I'm bringing this up is because uh, it turns out Andrew Cuomo is bad, actually. He's as bad, if not worse, than the left and progressives said he was. And now a third accuser has come out accusing Andrew Cuomo of sexual harassment. But before we get to that story, I want to talk about the lead up to um, this giant scandal that he's now involved in because a lot has taken place over the course of a couple of weeks and um, it's basically snowballing and now there are literally calls for Andrew Cuomo to resign. Like he was the presumptive 2024 slash 2028 Democratic Party nominee and now we're seeing his career implode. So as Daniel Moran's of HuffPost explains, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has had a rough couple of weeks. His decision early in the pandemic to force nursing homes to accept COVID-19 positive patients morphed into a national scandal when it emerged that Cuomo's administration hid the number of deaths in those facilities. A browbeating phone call to Ron Kim, a Democratic state assemblyman, generated a new round of negative headlines about his well-known penchant for bullying. On Wednesday, Lindsay Boylan, a former aide, accused Cuomo of sexual harassment. Harassment. And on Saturday, a second former aide, Charlotte Bennett, accused Cuomo of sexual harassment as well. It's a stunning fall from grace for a governor whose daily televised press conferences during the pandemic won him an Emmy Award and the adoring moniker America's Governor. Media outlets fawned over him, and in a telling display of arrogance, he wrote a book about his leadership in the fight against COVID-19 only months into a pandemic that is still raging. And fast forward to now, and it's only getting worse because a third accuser, as I stated earlier, has come forward and alleged that he made unwanted sexual advances and very inappropriate over-the-line behavior. And uh, this behavior was actually captured on photo, the photo that you're seeing right now of him grabbing this woman's face. And even before we heard about the story from the third accuser, uh, there have been calls for him to resign as the investigation into these allegations of sexual harassment are now being uh, looked into. So as Reed Wilson of The Hill reports, New York Democrats are putting pressure on Governor Andrew Cuomo to leave office in the middle of mounting scandals over his personal and professional conduct. The state's attorney general, Letitia James, said Monday she had received the authorization to investigate allegations of sexual harassment leveled against the governor last week by two female former employees and would make her findings public. In a radio interview Monday, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio said the latest allegations that Cuomo harassed Bennett left him sickened, just disgusting, creepy, de Blasio said. Asked in a press conference later that day if Cuomo should step down, de Blasio responded if someone purposefully tried to use their power to force a woman to have sex with them, of course that's someone who should no longer be in public service. Cuomo said late Sunday he had not intended to offend or cause harm in his remarks to Bennett. He acknowledged that what he termed being playful and making jokes may have been misconstrued. Oh, is that so? They may have been misconstrued. In the Me Too era, you're doing all of this and you didn't think about the way that your actions would be construed? I mean, is this really an excuse that anyone is going to accept? So you have the mayor of New York City calling on the governor of New York to resign, you know, inadvertently, uh, in a non-explicit way, but nonetheless... He's heavily implying that Cuomo should resign. And on top of that, you have top Democrats such as Nancy Pelosi saying the sexual harassment allegations against him are, quote, credible. And now his political career is falling apart. And for once, perhaps in his entire life, he's actually being held accountable for his actions. So um, this is still a developing story. By the time you see this video, uh, perhaps more accusers come forward, more details emerge regarding different scandals. It's just that now, like, everyone is kind of coming forward. It usually takes, like, one to speak up, and then a domino effect happens. Lindsay Boylan actually shared her story months ago, and only now 
the press is taking it seriously because there are other stories about Andrew Cuomo where people are coming forward saying he uh, bullied us. He um, he lied about the deaths related to COVID-19 in nursing homes. So now more is likely going to come to light. Now let's wait and see if there's actually going to be any accountability. Sure, he's being held accountable uh, in the public side for now. But what really what we really need to see is pressure for him to resign because someone who has done all of this, abused their power, should not hold elected office. So he needs to do the right thing and resign. Will he do that though? Uh, I don't think so. Nonetheless, let's keep the pressure up. And if more people have stories, I hope that they do share that because I think this is important. I think that uh, this matters. Accountability matters.